Hello Year 4, Mrs Kang here. I'm so glad you could join me for today's story time. Chapter 3. Why Can't I Learn? By dark, it was plain to Farmer Hogger that, whether he liked it or not, Fly had not four, but five children. All the long summer evening babe had followed Fly about the yard and buildings aimlessly. It seemed to, to the watching farmer, though, of course... This was not the case. It was, in fact, a conducted tour. Fly knew that if this foster child was to be allowed his freedom and the constant reassurance of her company, for which he obviously craved, he must quickly learn, and patiently he was very he was a very quick learner. His way about the place and, and that he must be taught, as her puppies had been taught, how to behave like a good dog. A pig you may be, babe, she had begun by saying, but if you do as I tell you, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a bit surprised if the boss doesn't let you run about with us. Instead of shutting you up, he's a kind man, the boss is. I knew that, said Babe, when he first picked me up. I could feel it. I knew he wouldn't hurt me. You wait began one of the puppies and then stopped suddenly at his mother's warning growl. Though she said nothing, all four of her children knew immediately, immediately by instinct what she meant. Wait for what, said Babe. Uh, you wait half a tick and we'll take you round and show you everything, said the first puppy hastily. Won't we, Mum? At first, the puppies had not been equally happy at the idea. Mum, they said, he'll wet the bed. Nonsense, said Fly. If you want to do anything, dear, you go outside. There's a good boy. I nearly said there's a good pup, she thought. Whatever next. In fact, in the days that followed, Bay became so dog-like. What with coming when Fly came and sitting when Fly sat and not much preferring dog's food to anything else he was offered. That farmer hogger caught himself half expecting when he patted the piglet and that it would wag its tail. He would not have been surprised if it had tried to accompany Fly when he called her to go with him on his morning rounds, but it had stayed in the stables, playing with the puppies. You stop with the boys, babe. Fly had said, while I see to the sheep, I shan't be long. What sheep? The piglet said when she had gone. The puppies rolled about in the straw. Don't you know, you silly babe, said one. Sheep are animals with thick woolly coats and thick woolly heads. The men can't look after them without the, heart, without the help of without the help of likes of us said the fourth why don't you why do you need to said babe because we're sheep dogs they all cried together and ran up the yard babe thought about this matter of sheep and sheep dogs a good deal during a couple of days for weeks of his life on the, on the hoggart's farm in the time fly's puppies now old enough to leave home had been advertised for sale and fly was anxious to teach them all he all she could before they went out into the world daily she took them to practice on the ducks while babe sat beside her and watched with interest and da and daily their skills improved and the ducks lost weight and patience then there came one after another four farmers four tall long legged long legged men who smelt of sheep and each picked up his puppy and paid his money while Fly sat and watched her children leave to start their working life. As always, she felt a pang to see each go, but this time, after the last had left, she was not alone. It's nice, dear, she said to Babe. I've still got you, but not for all that long, she thought. Poor little chap, in six months or so, he'll be fit to kill. At least he doesn't know that. She looked fondly at him. This foster child that now called her mum 
He had picked it up naturally enough from the puppies, but it pleased her to hear now more than ever. Mum, said Babe. Yes, dear. They've gone off to work. Sheep, haven't they? Yes, dear, because they're sheep dogs like you. You're useful to the boss, aren't you? Because you're a sheep dog. Yes, dear. Well, Mum. Yes, dear. Why can't I learn to be a sheep dog? Thanks, guys, for joining me with this chapter. I hope you can join me next time when we do chapter four. Bye.